All right, today we're gonna to be reviewing Chris Henry's The Balls training aid. Let's take a look. All right, we got this new trading product called The Balls uh, by a guy named Chris Henry. He belie I believe he's a snooker coach over in uh, the UK. Uh, these balls, The Balls, uh, they're a bit expensive, they cost, um, about 140 bucks or so. Um, so, first impression, it's a really nice box. Doesn't really do much for training, but I'm a, you know, branding nerd, so I gotta say, it is definitely good packaging. Not quite sure if the packaging makes it worth 140 bucks, but let's take a look. So we have these two balls in here. They are very light. They feel like um, I feel like the, the the balls that are in like the play pit at like the the you know McDonald's is, that they had like twenty five years ago. So maybe a little heavier than that. I don't know, but they, they seem like a like a kid's toy, really. To be honest with you, and they they roll funny. They you know. They're, they're weirdly balanced. I'm not sure exactly what's going on on the inside, but they're weirdly balanced. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to, um, uh, apparently when you hit them off center, uh, they, they're, because of the way they're weighted and how light they are, they will um, deviate off the course more than a regular cue ball will, or obviously more than an object ball will. So to shoot the ball into the into the corner pocket is supposed to be a little hard and to make the ball it's supposed to be really hard and to make the ball and follow it in is supposed to be extremely hard so uh we'll see let's take a look all right first things first let's just try one second first things first let's try just the, the white ball the cue ball here again you put it down and it it finds its own center, I guess. So we're just gonna put it right here. This is on the second diamond and first diamond. And we're just gonna try to shoot the ball in. Um, they're, they're, they're telling me that this is uh, a, a somewhat hard thing to do. We'll, we'll find out. I can't imagine it's that hard hitting center ball. Yep, went straight in. Let's give it another try. I might have got lucky. So you kind of just drop it, let it find its center. I'm gonna put it on the that spot that I created. Let's try again. Okay, it went a little bit towards the pocket facing, but still not crazy. I hope these don't get stuck in the table. That would be unfortunate. Let's try to use side spin just to see what it does. Just a, like a hair of side spin. There we go. Yeah, so if you don't hit center, it's gonna, it's gonna go crazy. So, there we go. Just pocketing the balls. I would say pretty easy if you can hit the center. If you can't hit the center, it's gonna be a hard time. Yeah, okay. So, let's try to pocket a ball. Let's try to pocket a ball. Birds are up early this morning. Birds are up early. Okay, that's a lot harder. That's a lot harder, but we can do it.
I'll say the biggest benefit for this to me is right now my wife and kids are sleeping and I'm not making a whole lot of noise. This diamond table sounds like a thunderstorm when you're playing it in the middle of the night. These are very quiet. Yeah, so that's a lot harder. I don't expect I'll make it anytime soon, but I'm going to just let the camera roll instead of talking to you the whole time. And uh, we'll try a few more just to see what I can do, but I'm pretty sure I can make this and follow it in. All right, so um, it wasn't super hard to just shoot the, the cue ball into the pocket. I think that if you're hitting the ball in the center, you're gonna do that just fine. Uh, pocketing the ball was much harder. Um, it, it took me maybe six or seven tries to, maybe, I don't know, five tries to, to pocket the ball um, and then to pocket it and follow it in. Uh, it took me, you know, maybe 10 tries, but I did it twice in a row, so it's, it's not like, Crazy impossible, I think you just have to find uh, like a good uh, timing. And I think, I think what it does kind of t teach you is um, when you're trying to hit, shoot the ball, you don't need a whole lot of force. You want the, the weight of the cue to go through the ball. Um, so that'll be very helpful with these and it'll be helpful to find that stroke. So that's good. Um, I think the biggest value for me personally is that I can practice without waking my family up in the middle of the night because they're very, very quiet. Uh, otherwise, this table with a regular ball is very, very loud. So, um, yeah, for 140 bucks or so, I don't remember the exact price. Um, I don't know if they're worth it, but definitely if you know somebody who has bought them, give them a try. So, good luck.